what do you do after you sin child of god <laughs> i know that some of you will be surprised by this topic do this after you have sinned against god of course no one is perfect we all are working towards perfection and there are certain things you do unknowingly to you that it is sin against god and there are also certain things you do you know this thing is a sin but you cannot help it those fleshly desires those addictions you know those porn movies and all that and there are some things you also do you know this thing is a sin but you decided to do it now you have committed the sin against god what do you do people of god at your leisure go back to the book of genesis chapter 3 from verse 7 to 13. of course this story is a beautiful story about adam and eve after eve ate the apple gave some to her husband and when they were done eating they realized they were naked how did they know they were naked they knew they were naked because of the guilt they knew they were naked because of the shame they knew they were naked because of the disobedience and that is how some of you feel right now under the sound of my voice automatically they have disobeyed god and they started feeling the guilt in their hearts and that was how they knew that they were naked when they were without sin and pure they never knew they were naked i don't know what you feel right now like god has cut you off that is nakedness i don't know how you've been flogging yourself that is nakedness i don't know how you've been saying oh had i know oh this oh that that is nakedness secondly they started making excuses first you know as a child of god that you have sinned against god the moment you sin as a child of god you know the devil all by himself will even remind you he is the one that led you to sin that is the nature of the devil so corny in nature he is the one that led you to sin and afterwards he will remind you that you know you have just sinned against god you know that this thing you have done is against the bible it's like somebody is talking to you that could also be the voice of the devil in order to bring about that shame and guilt and the same devil will begin to make excuses for you that yes you have done it but you're not the first person to do it adam and eve started making excuses go back to the book of genesis chapter 3. um adam said oh it is the woman you gave to me imagine and Eve said, oh, it is the serpent. Who is the devil? So as a child of God, you ought not to give excuses after you have erred against God. You don't have to start justifying yourself. You see some persons, they have known that they are naked. The next thing they begin to do, they know they have committed sin. They begin to say, oh, how about this pastor that did it? Oh, how about David? Some of them will start referencing those in the Bible. How about King Solomon that married 100 wives? How about David that slept with this and that? How about Abraham that married another person? How about this? How about that? You begin to justify your sins. Please don't do this when you have erred against God. When you begin to justify your sin, I tell you, you will never ask God for mercy from a broken and a contrite heart. You will never come back to God. When you begin to give excuses when you begin to justify the things that you have done in order to feel comfortable in your own skin moving ahead according to the book of genesis chapter 3 adam and eve started hiding themselves child of god i tell you you see sin sin does not want to be exposed sin has a corny nature sin likes covering sin does not want to be exposed and that was why adam and eve they went about hiding themselves they looked for grass to cover themselves they looked for the back of the tree to keep themselves adam adam where are thou oh i am naked adam in his heart was hiding from the supreme of all supremes imagine adam and eve 
covering their nakedness from the one that created them. Hiding, hiding, hiding in pavements from the one that created them. And that is sin for you. Sin always wants to be covered. Because when you decide to cover sin, you will keep doing it. In your heart, you did not tell anyone the first one. So let's, let me just try the second one. And before you know it, you're trying the third one. And before you know it, gradually you become an addict. How have you been covering that sin? It is time to confess your sins to the Lord. Pour it out and drop it at his feet. And that is what the devil does not want. Because he wants you to continue. Child of God, confess your sins. Because I tell you, heaven rejoice when one soul comes back to God. Remember the story of the prodigal son. Of everything he did to his father. When he came back, there was a feast for his return. And that is what the devil does not want. He does not want heaven to rejoice. He does not want the saints in heaven to gather and say, Oh, this one that has been called this and that has come back to God. Sin loves to be covered. When you sin, child of God, come out with a broken and a contrite heart. And I tell you, heaven will rejoice when you do so. Again, Adam, when he heard the voice of the Lord, he was terrified. Because he now lives in guilt, in sin and in shame. He was terrified. Child of God, when you commit a sin against God, don't be afraid. Don't entertain fear. The Lord Jesus came for sinners and not for those that are righteous. When he was afraid and he said, I am naked, what did God say? Who told you? And that is to let you know that even in your sin, God loves you. Even in your sin, God does not want you to be afraid. Even in your sin, God does not want you to run away from him. Even in your sin, he wants you back. As filthy as you think you are. God wants you back. I don't know how dirty you think you are. And you have stopped going to church. You have stopped associating yourself in the gathering of the brethren. That is a trick from the pit of hello. God is waiting for you. The same spot you left him. He is still there waiting for you. Come back to him. Don't be afraid. Don't entertain fear. When you sin, be bold. Not be bold to say, yes, I have sinned. No. But be bold in order not to be afraid. Because that is the trick from the pit of hell. Just come to him just as you are. And I tell you, the Lord will deprive you from nothing. Provided he sees your heart. Bless people, even in sin, God loves you. Don't be afraid. And finally, even though I have thrown a little light on it, don't play the blame game. And what is this blame game? I already said it. Oh, it was my wife. Oh, it was the serpent. Oh, it was my childhood friend. Oh, I said, let me just taste it. Oh, you keep looking for whom to blame. Please do not play the blame game when you sin against God. Child of God, you know the God we're talking about. He is your father. Can you run from your earthly father? I just talked about the prodigal son. He came back. After all he has done, he realized that this is my father. Come off it. If you can go back to your earthly mother, your earthly parents, even after you have wronged them, why not come back to God? And when he came back, when the prodigal son came back, he did not blame anyone. He said, Father, I have sinned against you and against God. That is all God wants from you as his child. Child of God, I tell you that when you come out just the way you are, your forgiveness is sure. Your restoration is sure. All that you have lost in that course, you will recover even in hundred folds. I can beat my hand on my chest and tell you that I have lost counts of those whom God has blessed around me. Even though I know deep down how they have once lived their lives. It is not my place to judge whom God has blessed. No one can curse. These are those that did not blame anybody for their fault. These are those, I say some of them are pastors today. 
Some of them are ministers today. Some of them even minister here on YouTube. When they tell you all they did in life, but today they have carried the cross. And I tell you, God is blessing them and, he, and will keep blessing them. And that is what the devil does not want you to enjoy. He will keep telling you, if you do this, ah, you'll be disgraced. If you confess, eh, it is problem. Are you the first person to do this? Are you the first to do that? That is the trick from the pit of hell. All the devil wants is for you to create a covering. Just like Adam and Eve. They took the leaf and they covered themselves. In their hearts, they are covering the guilt. They are covering the shame. They are covering it. But I tell you, it cannot be covered that way. Because all around you, from your head to your toe, you will see the fingerprints of immorality. You yourself may not see it, but people are seeing it. But the moment you take that bold step and you come back to Jesus, he is the perfect covering. These people I just told you that today, they are living their best lives, even though I know how they once lived their lives. You cannot even see a trace of how they once lived. All you see is the light of Jesus around them. Because they have come out just as they are. They have run to the feet of Christ, asking for mercy. And of course, a broken and a contrite heart, God will not despise. And there's this saying that I, I don't even look like what I went through. They are a true example of that. Those that came out the way they are. Those that decided to take the leaf away from their waist. Those that have decided not to blame anybody. Father, I did it myself. In your mercy, have mercy. Those that did not hide themselves from God. As soon as they realized, they came just as they are. And when God said to them, why did you do this? They said, Father, you can beat me the way you want. You can disgrace me the way you want. You can just do with me anyhow you want. But let your mercy be sufficient for me. By your grace, have mercy upon me. That is all God wants you to do. After you have committed that sin. In all you have done. I don't know how you've been justifying your sin. I don't know how you've been covering it so that nobody will see. You may cover your sin so that no one may know. You cannot hide it from God. Ah, you cannot hide it from God. Child of God, you cannot hide it from God. Hey, you may cover your sin so that no one may know. I tell you, you cannot hide it from God. Adam and Eve tried to hide it. They tried to blame this and blame that. But of course, they cannot hide it from God. If they had come out the way they were, and they say, Father, have mercy on us. We have erred against you. I know God would have had mercy. But of course, they were thrown out from the Garden of Eden. And that is why this video is for you under the sound of my voice. If at the end of the day, you keep covering this sin. If at the end of the day, you keep justifying it. If at the end of the day, you keep blaming this and blaming that. If at the end of the day, you keep hiding in your shell. <laughs> it will be disastrous. The lake of fire may be your portion. But let it not be so in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? And what is the answer? God forbid. Come out of that shell today. When you sin, do not cover it. The Lord is always ready with his open arms to hug you again. To tell you, oh my child, you are welcome. And I tell you that heaven will rejoice. Once you have come out from that shell and you surrender to God. God bless you all. Let me pray with you under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, Abba Father will give you all the glory. Thank you for a time like this. Thank you because it is not by mistake that this one is seeing this video. Father, I ask, oh God, that let your grace and mercy rest upon everyone under the sound of my voice. I join my faith with theirs and I say, Father, have mercy upon them, oh God, according to your loving kindness. 
draw them back close to you because where you are is where they ought to be blessed be your holy name in jesus victorious name we have prayed amen i love you all with the love of the lord i remain your sister and friend Eze. Talking to you all from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. If the Lord has laid in your heart to partner with us, kindly click on the link in the comment section. Become a partner with God projects. We go to the hospitals to discharge those that are not better. We buy them medicines. We just pay their bills as the Lord has instructed us. So when you subscribe, your fingerprints will be crested in the lives of those whom we always visit in the hospital. Again, if you're yet to subscribe, Kindly click on the subscribe button and of course the thumbs up to enable this video go viral and reach out to a larger amount of persons here on YouTube and beyond. Again, be intentional. Click on the share button or better still, copy the link and share to family and friends. When you do so, you are evangelizing. See you in my next video. Bye for now.